Have you practiced your VOR flying yet? I sure hope so, because we're stepping it up a notch. Here's a video tutorial about VOR DME ARCs. Just like a VOR approach, a DME arc is a pretty common thing when it comes to approaching an airport. Actually a VOR is not necessarily needed to perform a DME arc, but often the two are combined, which results in eventually approaching the airport following the VOR. To explain what a DME arc is, let's take a look at this fancy little animation thingy. Here's an airport, here's a plane, and here's a DME station, which could also be a VOR DME station. The plane wants to land at the airport, but it's not lined up with its runway at the moment. But the plane knows how far it is away from the DME station, so it could stay at a certain distance from that DME until it's time to turn towards the airport. For example, the plane could stay 10 nautical miles away from the DME like this, which would result in flying an arc. Then, when the aircraft is facing a certain heading, in this case south, it can turn 90 degrees to the left to kind of line up with the airport's runway. If the DME station also has VOR, the plane could use the VOR from this point on to stay on the correct course towards the airport. Now before you go out and try this, let me tell you something about approach charts. Pretty much every single airport has approach charts. These can tell a pilot how to correctly fly towards an airport, to make sure the pilot can approach the runway correctly. Let's take a look at the approach charts for TNCM. This one here is like a top-down view of the airport, showing clearly the heading and routes the pilot has to fly. You can see that after circling down right here, the pilot is supposed to fly towards heading 318, flying away from the VOR DME station at TNCM, and then when its plane is 7 miles away from the DME, the pilot should turn to the left to start a 9 DME arc. After flying that arc, the pilot is supposed to turn more sharply to the left again, to line up with the VOR at heading 96, like we did in How to 29. If we look at the other chart, which is basically showing the same info but from the side, we can see the exact altitudes the pilot has to keep his plane at while flying this approach. If you understand these charts, we can now jump back to flight gear to try it out. I'm currently circling down above TNCM, and on my flight computers I've already filled in the PJM VOR with frequency 113.0 and the heading of 318. Because the plane has now descended to the correct altitude, as shown by the approach charts, it can follow the VOR path away from the airport at heading 318. While I'm going to let the autopilot do that lining up for me, let's find the DME values on this aircraft. This A330 has a different cockpit than you might be used to if you mostly fly the 777. But it's not very hard. If you look right here, you've already found the amount of miles we're away from the DME station. We are now flying at the 318 heading, which we should do until we reach the 7 DME mark, then we should turn left. So let's do so. We are now about 7 nautical miles away from the DME, so turning the plane about 60 degrees to the left in this case, should set us up pretty nicely for the arc. Now this is where it gets difficult. Because this is an arc to the left, if we see the DME indicator go beyond 9 miles, we should turn further left until it starts going back towards 9. If it gets below 9 nautical miles, we should make our turn less steep until it goes back to 9. Of course, if the arc would be going to the right, it would be exactly the opposite. Pilots in real life are probably able to do this with a margin of 0.5 miles, meaning they can fly a 8.5 to 9.5 arc. But I'd already be quite impressed if you can do this staying in between 8 and 10 miles. By the way, while performing this arc, you should already set the next heading for the VOR you'll have to follow in a minute. In this case, that's 96. This arc to TNCM is not very long, 
so you'll notice that pretty quickly you'll already have to make a steep turn to the left to meet up with the 96 degree VOR. From this point on, it's only doing what I've already told you in the last how to. So if you haven't watched that yet, be sure to check that out. I hope you'll stick around for the new videos coming up on this channel. If you want me to make a how to about something you don't know yet, be sure to leave me a comment below and maybe I can then cover that subject in the next episode of Flight Care How To.